Thomas Cook, again, curing cancer without compromise. Thank you for joining us on this podcast. We're really excited today because we're going to introduce you to two very amazing people that are changing the world and the cancer world. We have in front of us today, Andy and Juni Ahmed, who have been really responsible for helping tremendously start a foundation and an organization that has brought together families and children. Um, gentlemen, ladies, welcome. Welcome here to Time. And would love to a little bit about the foundation. I'd love to hear more about it. Of course. I, and thank you. Um, the Joseph Ahmed Foundation was um, established in honor of our son, Joseph who um, passed away in 2014 um, to UN sarcoma. Joseph um, was diagnosed uh, stage four. And, um, and when your child gets diagnosed uh, at a stage four, you run out of options fairly quick. So, and running out of options also means entering into a desperate state where you're trying to find um, any anything that can possibly help your child um, after losing Joseph and after the devastation that he left behind. We felt that the way we would honor his memory was by doing for others what was not available for us. So we established this foundation with the mission of researching for UN sarcoma drugs that can actually work in this type of cancer. And how did you, and how did you hear of time? I'd love to hear that. Okay, so in that desperation time, um, we were connected by another patient at Sloan um, who happened to know about the trial of this drug. Uh, by the time we got there, the trial was no longer running, uh, but time was kind enough to treat Joseph in a compassionate basis. Mm -hmm. um, we found that um, the drug was um, very hopeful, let's say, in a sense that immediately we started to see changes in Joseph. Um, it was something that when he was at a time when he had very little options, this drug was able to extend his life to a point that he was able to do things that the hospital had already told us he couldn't do, like attending his prom. How oh, nice. And the foundation now is how old and how long has it been, been going? Uh, the foundation was uh, created uh, two years after the passing of uh, Joseph, and that was uh, 2016, basically at the beginning of 2016. Uh, and uh, for now, we're, we've been in business for about three years. How oh, wonderful. So tell us a little bit about the collaboration between Time and with your foundation. Love to hear more about it. So once again... Um, Time has demonstrated to have a heart of gold, I would say, um, because when we brought the proposal of running a trial uh, for you and sarcoma and other sarcoma patients um, using this drug, SM88, as the trial, as the drug for the trial, they say yes. And that was um, incredible for us, being a young foundation and collaborating with uh, a company like Time who is in this space following a similar mission as we are in it, the Joseph Ahmed Foundation. We share the common goal that we want to help patients in this space, that we want to bring hope, that we want to bring uh, treatments that can be viable and helpful with their diseases. And this diseases. is for children, correct? Um, Mostly? The trial? Yeah. Yeah. Children and adults. And adults. Yes. Tell well, us a little bit about the disease. What 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 is urine sarcoma? For folks out there that don't know about it. Uh, the urine sarcoma is uh, a type of cancer that's uh, considered to be rare, where only two percent of the uh, cancer patients have it. Uh, urine sarcoma hits uh, the bones and the soft tissues surrounding the bones. Uh, it also attack. Uh, 
teenagers and younger children. In general, it does not really hit um, adults. So uh, it's vicious. Uh, there's no cure for it. When Joseph was in the hospital, at a certain point, they used to give him chemo that was made about 35 years before that date. It was very sad. And that's why it was really a nice and kind of time to collaborate with us, offer us this uh, medication for free so that we can continue and uh, try to uh, help other kids who are in the same situation as Joseph was and uh, get them any help in uh, extending their life or even cure them. Who knows? I mean, we're praying for that. Uh, can I also add yes, something else? Um, I think um, that something that is very typical of you in sarcoma is relapse. So patients can achieve remission, but that oftentimes is a short-lived remission and then relapse. And by the second time that these patients relapse, they run out of options. The disease is vicious. Wow. You know, I, I, I was very privileged to have gone to your... Uh, your gala that you that you do every year. Tell us a little bit about that gala because you actually brought all these families, children, and people together from this community, which really never had an outlet to come together like this. Um, it was a, an amazing event, but let, let's tell the folks out there a little bit more about what, what that gala is. So we have um, every year, this is a yearly event, um, and it started three years ago, um, and it's an event um, surrounded by hope. Um, the themes of every year has been Horizon of Hope, a, a Night of Hope. And it's all about what we represent. We represent hope. We want to give those parents and children, just like Joseph, hope that there could be something out there that could make a difference and change the course of their destiny. So when we have this gala, we bring together um, people from all walks of life and people who have been touched by cancer, either because they have experienced it personally mm -hmm. or a family member. Um, we also collaborate with another foundation and their children who are children fighting cancer attend our gala. It's a beautiful thing because we show in them that we're working for them, that these, is, these are the children that we want to help and these are the children that we want to make a difference for. Um, we have been very fortunate to have the support of communities and sponsors that come together and want to join the dream with us and help us in the mission, our mission. And if you're listening out there, listeners, they actually have one of the greatest auctions you'll ever, ever, ever see. <laughs> and they have everything from A to Z, from Broadway tickets to baseball, you name it, to art, to jewelry. Um, when, when is the event? Um, it's usually in September or October, between those two months. And so. how do people how do people get in touch with you? How do people... First of all, let me go back. With this study, uh, l tell us a little bit about how people can learn more about this and how they can uh, see if they qualify or if they want more information. What, what do you recommend? So right now we have a, sort of like a, a, a social media campaign, per se, in Facebook, where we as a foundation are part of uh, support groups for UN sarcoma uh, survivors, UN sarcoma fighting for the disease, and, and lots of parents that are quite knowledgeable. So we communicate with them and and in the progress and now that the trial is is open and screening for patients um, I have been working closely with this community um, in addition um, patients can reach out to us via our website mm -hmm. um, the Which Joseph is? Ahmed foundation dot org dot org okay and also uh, for the trials where did they go uh, clinical trials that got okay. and uh, but we we as a foundation can also facilitate the communication between us and the sarcoma center um also uh, tell me a little bit about uh dr shala because i I've, I've been honored and privileged to meet him as well but what an amazing man and in his field tell us a little bit about him i want to tell you actually an interesting story about dr shala 
um, when Joseph was in, um, I want to say maybe three, four months uh, before his uh, passing, uh, somebody recommended Dr. Chala um, for us to reach out to him. And um, I wrote, I sent him an email explaining Joseph's um, profile case and everything that was going on, including the treatments. And I was dumbfounded, actually, when the very same day he called me. And he wanted to know all about Joseph and about the options. And he gave me a lot of information. So I was so grateful uh, for his kindness and his time and his attention. Um, and it's made that probably he, there even wasn't a chance for Joseph to go to the sarcoma center, but he wanted to be part of it. He wanted to be able to help as much as he could. And that actually... Um, made an impression. And then when we started thinking about the, the our trial and our collaboration with time, uh, our path crossed again with Dr. Chala. And, um, and I knew that that was sort of like the stars aligning for us. Um, he believes in these. He uh, is uh, well known in the sarcoma community. Um, his knowledge is, is, amazing and he has a great heart and he wants to do these things with us uh, collaborate with the foundation and with time so that we can make this happen that collectively we could make a difference in our fight for cancer i've been privileged to know you guys for a couple of years now and i'm truly touched and blessed you're amazing mom and dad parents and friends um you do a, a walk every year too where Lots of people attend. It's That's in, right. It's in that, is, that, is it a state or a country called New, New Jersey. Jersey, right? <laughs> yes. It's, a state, it's the state of New Jersey. Uh, but they think uh, they're a country. Right? They won't tell anybody. If you listen it out uh, there, I love Jersey. So tell us yeah. about the walk. <clears throat> um, so that's another event that we do once a year. Um, and our team has been, it's a fundraising event. Um, again, we are um, so fortunate to attract uh, people from, again, all walks of life, people that care, people that want to give back. And they partnered with us in fundraising and, and making our event a total success. So the the marathon has been running, I, I mean, has been growing significantly from the first year to the last year. Um, the numbers are increasing, our fundraising is increasing. So it's, it's really a great thing for us. And you have some great sponsors on that. Nick, give me a couple of the great sponsors because you two have been a man-made machine. You've done this all on your own with great help from friends. I know that. But tell us a little bit about your partners. So we get sponsorships from um, different places. Um, I work at the New York Stock Exchange. I've heard of um, that place. Yes, <laughs> yes. So um, we have some sponsors coming from the organization. Um, we also have had um, sponsorships with Ehab Human Services, um, which tend to be, who else am I forgetting? Francis. Um, the Francis Foundation also oh, sponsor us. So uh, we're very fortunate. So let me ask you this before we close. For anyone listening out there with family or friends, um, what would what would your, your last message be to folks out there in regards to your foundation? What to look for, what to identify, or what to be, uh, what they should know. How would you? In terms of how would you wrap this up about, you know, <clears throat> I know that what you've done with this foundation is incredible. I know that you are bringing to the surface more knowledge, more information, and education um, on human sarcoma. So we thank you for that. Um, I would just love you um, before we say good night, goodbye. Uh, what are your last moments you'd like to share right now? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give my husband a, an opportunity to say something, but from my end is the message to this community that you're not alone. Nice. You have us fighting for you every step of the way, trying to make a difference in your life. And we're here. And also for anyone who uh, have a family member, uh, with the sarcoma or any type of uh, pediatric cancer, uh, they are welcome to uh, get in touch with us, the Joseph Ahmed Foundation, 
Just Google it and you're going to find our website. You can communicate with us. You can get a lot of information from the website. It's about uh, even finding out about early detection of uh, the disease. So the Joseph Ahmed Foundation dot org again, please. And you have a lot of information in there. So thank you, the two of you. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for your friendship. And thank you so much on behalf of time and this country for everything you're doing to pay it forward. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Thank you for listening to another episode of Treating Cancer Without Compromise.